What's up everyone? My name is Joe Cox and thank you for tuning in to Joe C. Cox Photo. As always, we do have a new plant for the video. Second, this is an unscripted video. And third, this is going to be covering my own personal workflows, so there will be some things included, some things excluded. In case you missed the last video, you can find it on the screen now. But in that video, we were looking at Adobe Lightroom specifically, but the left column and how to navigate and work with that. Today's video, a little bit different. We are still working in Adobe Lightroom, still working in the library module, but this time around, we are going to be looking at that very bottom row or that navigational bar down there. So let's go ahead and dive on in. First thing you will notice is up top, we are in the library module here. Moving on down, this is going to be where we're working today, but if this is hidden for you, or if you ever want to hide it in the future, that's as simple as going down to this bottom triangle on the edge, clicking that, and it will hide or unhide that bar. Additionally, you'll notice this filter selection right here. We're not going to be covering that today. I did cover that in the library filter video that I have. So either go back and rewatch that or watch it for the first time. Make sure you're caught up there because yeah, unfortunately I'm not going to be covering that today. But diving back in, today you will notice that working down here, whenever you hover over a photo, it will preview it up in the top left navigator. If you ever click on a photo, you can quickly make selections. So this is nice, especially if you are working between different modules up top. It will keep your photo selection or allow you to keep navigating. But moving back to the library. Additionally, um, you can navigate through here um, while in a loop view. But while looking at some of these view options, there are three we have never seen before. So we've got a compare view, a survey view, and a people view. Looking and starting in compare view, you'll notice it compares two different photos. So the photo on the left is the select, the photo on the right is the candidate. If you go into the zoom slider, you can zoom in on both photos at the same place and same rate. Or if you click on this lock icon, you will only zoom in on your select. And if you hit that lock or lock icon again, you'll notice it zooms in your candidate. But moving further right, this first button you've got is going to be a swap between your select and your candidate whereas the button right next to it is only going to be a make select. So in this case, your candidate will now become your select and you cannot swap it back. So if we make that happen, you'll notice we now have nothing here, but you can use this left and right arrow to swap between different candidates. So that is going to cover our compare view. Quick interruption to the video. Did you know that I also make merch for this channel? So I've got you covered with hoodies, so you can always be looking stylish in other apparel as well. I've got you covered with coffee cups, so you can always be sipping your favorite drink. I've even got you covered with the wall art, so your home can always be up to speed and comfortable as heck. But there's still so much more to be seen. So, not only does your purchase go into supporting this channel and helping others become more educated on photography and videography, but a portion of those proceeds also get donated to the Simplify in America's Fund, so that way, not only are we out here supporting each other, but you and I are also out here supporting the men and women who have served in our armed forces. And that is pretty awesome. So, don't forget to go check out that link in the description down below. Go check out the merch page and find something that you absolutely love. Otherwise, guys, I love each and every one of you. Thank you so much for all the support and time you've given to this channel. I do appreciate you, but let's get back to your video now. Moving into survey, survey is nice because you can add a bunch of different photos to the preview screen. By using command and clicking or adding to our selection, you'll notice we can add photos to this survey view. Moving over to people, people view is specifically going to be Lightroom, including any photos that it detects people in, but none of our photos have that today. Can be useful, but unfortunately I can't show you an example. Moving back in, Next thing I do want to cover is this one and two arrow real quick. Let me go into my grid view, but this first one is going to be our main window and this main min or window when you click on it allows you to change the view so we could go into a loop view and then additionally it will allow you to change or change your screen mode. So currently I'm kind of in a weird setup where I'm not going to change anything because we are recording the video. But if you were just on like a normal screen and it was kind of sized down, you could use this to go to a full screen view, 
um, a full screen with a menu bar or even a full screen preview of just the file. But continuing along, we do also have this secondary screen. If we click on that, it opens a, an entirely new window. So if you had an additional monitor or something, you could take that and place it over there. But you will notice, and if I reopen that, it does still have a grid view, a loop view, a compare view, and a survey view for us to use. And they do all have their fancy little features. So on grid, we do have a thumbnail slider. On loop, we do have our zoomed. And compare, we've got our um, swaps and make select. And then in survey, we there again, um, well, we can't actually do anything down here, unfortunately. But yeah, so that is again a survey window where we could have had things or add more things. But we're going to close that. Next, I do want to look at this. It is a library grid. It does just take us back to our regular grid. And then this right here is a go back and go forward arrow. Exactly kind of what you would expect. So if we were to say, go to quick collection real quick, and then we're like, oh no, we want to go back to all photographs. You can just hit go back and now we're there. Oh no, we want to go back to quick collection. Go forward. So super easy there. And then next, it will show you where you're at. So in this case, we're in all photographs in our catalog. It will show you how many photos are in that area, how many you have selected, and as well as the file name of that photo. So that is going to cover up and finish today's video. I hope you did learn something new. That navigational bar can be extremely useful. There again, don't forget to subscribe. I'd hate for you to miss out on the future content going forward because I'm just releasing things left and right right now. But otherwise, thanks for tuning in and I will catch you next time. Bye.